大家学到好 ，Hi everyone, Poi Poi is back. Today, Poi Poi will discuss about Lunar New Year prayer. We call it In Sen Jie Fu. Tomorrow is the New Year Day. Are you guys ready to celebrate it? What do you guys normally do in preparation to celebrate the Lunar New Year? Do you clean up the entire house? Spot on! For those who own the god and goddesses altar, a week before the New Year Day is a good time to clean and shine the statues to prepare for the big celebration. All right, guys. What do we always do on the Lunar New Year Eve? A family gathering is what we are always waiting for. Followed by paying respects to our ancestor, we prepare the pictures of our deceased ancestor and set up an altar for them. We prepare the incense holder, yellow and gold color incense stick, fruit offerings, a pair of candles, and five cups of tea. We pay respect for them with an order from the eldest to the youngest family member. At about 12:10 a.m. until 6 a.m. time span, we can conduct a very important ceremony in Taoist tradition. It is called Ying Sen Jie Fu. Yup, it is a ceremony of welcoming the Lunar New Year. The ceremony is conducted in an outdoor space where we can directly look up to the sky, facing the east direction. What do we need to set up the altar? What are the correct arrangements for it? How do we pray during the ceremony? One, a medium-sized table. Two, a red-colored tablecloth. Three, a glass of the same size of the table or smaller to be put above the tablecloth. The purpose is to minimize the risk of fire. Four, a small or medium-sized incense holder, depending on the number of family member joining the ceremony. Five, five small cups of tea. Six, five different types of food. Seven, two faces of flowers. Eight, two candles and their holder. Nine, sweets, candies, and small size jar or saucers. And ten, good size and small size of yellow or gold colored incense stick. The head of the family or Huang Yi will use one big incense stick and twelve small incense sticks, while the rest of the family, including kids, will only use twelve small incense sticks. Five pieces of each type for medium-sized fruit like apples, oranges, and pear. For big-sized fruit like melon, only one is enough. For very small-sized fruit like grapes and longan, one handful of them. Try to choose the best-looking fruit. We do not put sharp, spiky, and not good-looking fruits like durian or hairy ones like rambutan. The following picture is the correct arrangement for the altar. How do we pray during the ceremony? The first one to start praying will be the head of the family. He pays respect to the sky using one big incense stick and then twelve small incense sticks. He can mention all the name of the god and goddesses as many as he can remember, and say the wishes he wanted to come true. Afterwards, it is followed by Lian Kung for those who has been initiated. After the head of the family is finished praying. Then it is followed by the next person with an order from the oldest to the youngest. For those who own an altar of the god and goddesses, the setup and the order is the same with the one outside. Papa is always waiting for the Lian Kung session during this Ingsen Jie Fu ceremony. Do you guys know why? It is because we are mentioning all the name of the god and goddesses we can remember. If we are blessed with luck, we can see them in person or give us their gifts or blessing for us. Papa has heard many amazing and fascinating stories from the people doing this. After everyone finish with their praying rituals, the altar can be left there until the following morning, given that the weather is good. For safety reason, we need to remember to put out the candles and the flames. And to store the incense holder in the house. That was a short description about Lunar New Year ceremony or Ingen Jie Fu in Taoist tradition. Let's do it, guys! With love, Poi Poi, Xue Tao, Da Jia Hao.